Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Troubleshooter. Uh, this is a game that was recommended to me as a cross between Freedom Force, XCOM, and a JRPG, and that sounded cool to me. Um, I have no idea what we're about to get into here, so let's just jump right in with a new company. Alright, interesting and easy is the default, even though normal you think would be. This is more of a turn-based strategy game. I mean, I'm relatively familiar, so I think we're okay with that. Okay, the enemy adequately chooses between attack and defense for a situation. Boss units to a level lower than the mission recommend level will help us level adjusted. Actually, I'm good with that because we want, like, some minor challenge, right? We don't want it to... We don't want to just steamroll over everything. Number of elite units, I saw the increases. Okay, if we do easy, boss units appear with a fixed level according to a mission. Yeah, no. There's safe mode, which is basically elite units don't get spawned. And then story mode, which is like... For one limited chance during a mission, we get lethal damage that can put you out of action. You recover full HP and resurrect. Uh, no. I don't know. Well, let's do normal. It's going to be like XCOM where we, like, we lose somebody. That's just what we're going to roll with. I mean, if it ends up we lose, like, completely... Then, I don't know, do we start over? I have no idea. Let's confirm this and go to the tutorial. Loading. Just gotta think about it. There we go. A troubleshooter is a private security guard legally sanctioned to investigate crimes and incarcerate culprits within jurisdiction of the city state of Valhalla. Okay, good to know. Press any key. I choose the period. City State. Valhalla. Valhalla City State, founded primarily for the profit of the three world powers, cannot officially have an armory of its own. Valhalla Year 10. In an attempt to suppress soaring crime rates, the Valhalla government granted private security guards, following specific tests, the authority to investigate crimes and arrest material. Wait a minute. She's not allowed to have a military. That's fine. You're telling me that that also extended not having a police force? Because that's stupid. Troubleshooting the private security guards granted the authority to investigate and arrest. Without any strong deterrence, troubleshooters have been working actively to stem the rise in criminal activity against the Valhalla government. Despite the troubleshooters' efforts due to an uncooperative government and scarce police power, the crime rate isn't diminishing. As a result, the civilians have been desensitized to crime and indifferent to others. Basically like Madripoor in the Marvel Universe. Okay, we can go in the Crowbill Station, Troubleshooter. Commander, we've lost it to contact with the Advanced Squad. Caution the HQ indicate the Troubleshooters are on their way. On their way? What's their ETA? ETA is 20 minutes, sir. We don't have that much time. We proceed with the mission as planned. The culprits can't be far. Move up and stick to cover. Okay, so we're going to take over these guys now. Put all the enemies and have out of action. Okay, gotcha. Alright, then let's move out. Okay, first range of movement is determined by the move distance of unit. Okay, so this is very XCOM. It is marked with a sky blue border over transfer for first world services. At the highlight area, press the right mouse button to move the area. Alright, so we have this dude. That's our leader. Want him to go over here. Great. Do it. Uh, right mouse button. Got it. Well, he just dashes in place. All right. Okay. The limit of the second range movement is 60% of the maximum range of the first. The second range is marked with yellow border on traversable surfaces. All right. And, of course, right mouse button to move grass. Probably going to be the same as XCOM, where, like, half cover is not even worth the time. Like, it's always better to go in full cover. to the event squad. Ah, uh, well, looks like you might be down here. Use the WSD buttons to move 
Or move the cursor to the bottom of the screen to turn the camera view. Okay, so we can move the camera around. Gotcha. Okay. Alpha action. Unable to ID the target. Alpha 1, move up and secure that position. Alright, so Alpha 1, copy, change of position. I want you to move over here. Characters can move long distances by dashing. Use all the enemy's action points. Okay, we can use the arrow keys too, it looks like. Don't have to use WSAD. There you go, Alpha, up there. So he's in half cover, he's totally dead. Alpha 2 moving in. This position provides low cover, which is highlighted with a low cover icon. Enemy's hit chance is decreased by 20% when under attack, but in the same direction as the side of the unit to display as a cover icon. Okay. 20% is not a whole lot. That's why I prefer full cover. Okay. HP stands for health points. If unit's HP falls to zero, the unit will be rendered out of action, which means the unit can no longer participate in the mission. You just get two action points per turn. Your turn will end when all action points are used. And unit cover state. Symbol indicates the unit's cover state. Okay. Great. Alpha 2. I have eyes on Delta. Any survivors? Vigil's unclear for the current location. Q need to rotate the camera for a clearer view. All right. Ah, okay. It does it in increments. I see. Alpha 2. Pushing forward to get a better visual. Position provides full cover, which highlighted with a full cover icon. Enemies a chance to decrease by 40%. Yeah, see, that's much better. When I attack from the same direction inside of the unit, it's the cover icon. Okay, so you come over here, buddy. Troyal wants me to do it. Alpha 3, making a spread to cover up front. Oh, you're so incredibly boned, dude. You're too, dude, dude, dude. You're so boned. You're only slightly boned, though. I mean, it is half cover. I don't have a choice. If I had a choice, where would I put you? I don't really have any good options, do I? Over here might not be a bad idea because of the full cover. That's about all I'd be able to do. Yeah, full cover would be better. But okay, sure. Right here. Off you go. Try not to die. Enemy activity. Alpha action. We're going middle. All units stand by. Okay, so we've got an action queue on the right side there. Great. Okay, so of course the guy who's biggest is the currently available unit, and that's the section that shows the units you can control in the current turn. Next turn's right below that. Does the turn are both allies and enemies within your team's line of sight? So if you can't see them, you don't know when they're gonna act. Okay, so the next section indicates where the next turn the turn available unit will be. Okay, so that's fine. We don't know any enemies yet, but Okay, that's that's good to highlight that. Action time points determine the amount of time until the relevant character can take the next turn after the end turn of the currently available select selector. It is calculated to change the unit speed and may increase or decrease the ability or events. Um, okay. So I guess we have 74 action time. That's... I don't know what that means exactly, but sure. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. All right, we want somebody to move over there, huh? Okay then, let's go over there. Staying behind some sort of cover is not a bad idea. Probably not what it, not what I would have chosen. Ready to leave before the cops arrive. Let those bastards come. Alpha actual, Tango spotted. All units, move up and wait my signal. Okay, the level one alert in the status of enemies. When a unit with this status detects a foe, it moves to the nearest and most effective cover, engaging in battle. Additionally, the unit can send backup requests to its non-battle allies within its line of sight. Allies that receive backup requests will always join the fight and move to contest the nearest foes. When the hostiles are under standby status, their sight range is marked with a caution icon within the center of traversable tiles. Okay, I'll use one gauge about one to turn hostile units on side. Okay. So I need to move my dude up here, apparently. Moving on for target suppression. Uh, okay, I kind of agree with that movement. When an enemy is within your line of sight, the enemy will be shown in the action queue. Oh, yep, they're there. All right. Conversely, when an enemy on the action queue goes out of your line of sight, the enemy will disappear from the action queue. Right. Makes sense. All right. 
The Overwatch ability is only available for the units with the Overwatch Mastery. Using Overwatch will end the turn as it is an attack that triggers in response to the first move to location or attack an enemy makes within the attacking range of the unit. Use the Overwatch. All right, so we can hit the three um, on my keyboard here. There we go. Yeah, double tap three works. Okay. Alpha two, status on Delta. Verify. Use T and G to zoom in or zoom out with the camera correctly review. T and G? Okay. Delta is down. Survivor is unknown. Damn it. What are orders, Commander? Leave Delta the rescue squad and proceed to the mission. Alpha 2, move to flank the enemy. Copy that. Alright, so we've got a spot over there, so. Not that. That instead. There we go. Alright, half cover. I kind of hate it, but it does give us a decent flank position. So, of course, nobody in that area. We don't know that yet, though. Go for it. You can't overwatch from there, though. Yep, it was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Well, we got some overwatch. Okay, one guy down. Not so bad. Darn it. Yeah, you fucked up, buddy. And <laughs> at the front, we've been spotted. Oh, kid, get on the ground. Yeah, get on the ground. Commander, there's civilians alive. I think he just cursed. Squad, hold your fire. Secure the civilians first. If an ally in a non-battle status enters the range of sight of a hostile target, the status will be changed to battle status. The unit that has changed to battle status will request for help the nearby enemy allies, rather, and the unit and help requested allies will move to the nearest covering. Yeah, right, right. You already told me this. Alpha three, moving to secure the civilians. Okay, we just got an update to our objectives. Got it. Okay, how do you want me to do this? Right, okay, same way as next time. You didn't decide there's a circle of influence. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And there are kinds, such as injured, unsettled, and civilian in panic. Right now, this is only civilian in need of service, so come over here, grab her. Should have come earlier. Wow, harsh. I'm gonna leave the little girl by herself, though. That's kind of a dick move. Something what, what did he just say? Ain't something off? Position of remaining civilians. The kid near my position. Copy. Squad eliminate all targets surrounding the child. That won't scar her for life or anything. Alright. How in the half cover are you sure? That seems like a really bad idea. Okay, A mode. Selecting the attack ability and using the left mouse button will also let you air move. So let's use a chance to successfully hitting available targets. Okay, let's hit one here so we go to aim mode. Okay. And the graphics are really nice. Okay, so press the space button. You have a 76% chance to do this. Crit 92% chance. It's all good. Damage is going to be 471. He has no chance to block. 134% chance to get a crit. I don't know about aiming for his head. Okay. It worked. It's taking them so long. Alpha 1. Going in. Alright, Alpha 1. Really? Really? I mean, I guess there's sort of cover there. I prefer the big cover here, but okay. Alpha 1. Focusing fire on all targets. Run the civilian. Aim for the next target by pressing the shift tab button. Or then the enemy icon of the target list is above the target information name. Okay, so we go here. And then shift. Okay. So I can change. This would be 6%, 71, 70. I mean, 71 is better than 70, so I think we do that. So tab, no shift rather. Moving back over. There we go. So it is currently unavailable for auto, so I needed to go over here, huh? Yeah, they want me to shoot this guy. Alright. 
Only 80% chance to crit. So if we don't crit, he stays alive with like one health point. So hope we crit. It did crit. Okay, great. He's out. Alpha 2. Proceeding to rescue, rescue the target. Okay. That seems a little premature because we still got like three guys up, but sure. They should be safe. Well, at least she said thank you. Alpha 2. Civilian secure. Not a danger. No more civilians, I repeat. No more civilians. Okay, are you sure? Because there could be people like all back here. We don't know. We don't know. Affirmative. Eliminate enemies exposed on the flanks. Okay, so that is a target with a, I don't know, bolt icon? Or exposed and vulnerable to an attacking character. A flanking attack bonus will be applied when attacking the target. Okay, cool. Critical hit rate increases by 50%. All right, that's very XCOM. Sure. So, who are you going to hit? I mean, this dude is... I don't see the flanking icon. Have me over here. Oh, no, he totally has a flanking icon. It's just... Yeah, okay, it's, mar it's marked by the dead. As in, he's going to be dead. No, the dead is over here, okay. Yeah, see, this guy has cover. So it's next to his name. Okay. So it's supposed to be this guy then. Alright, hit him then. Or whatever you got. There you go. Okay, they don't want me to come any closer. Boys well, are almost here, try not to piss them off, alright. Alpha 3, can you engage? Alpha 3, negative, I need to get closer. Two targets left, we can easily... Oh, shit, so we're doomed, right? Alpha 3, position yourself for attack and stand by. Got it. Okay, Alpha 3. Get over here. Alpha 3 on standby. Okay, standby is the ability which ends the turn now and in return the character receives a bonus for action time in the next turn. You can use this ability right off the turn starts. The next turn's action time decreases by 50%. I'm using this ability after expending the first range of movement or consuming an action point. Next turn, action time decreases by 25%. Okay, so go ahead and stand by. Darn it, you rats! Hey, hey, look who's here! Oh, fuck. Enemy reinforcements! Enemy reinforcements! And from behind. Oh, you guys are so boned. Hopefully this isn't a thing they do in a real mission. Otherwise, you're just fucked. Oh, my, here comes our first troubleshooter. Oops. Troubleshooter Alba, join the action. Apprentice Troubleshooter Sion, join the action. I'm Hero Reen. Okay. Support the troubleshooters to take all enemies down. All right. It's been 20 years since the establishment of Valhalla and 10 years since the implementation of the troubleshooter program. Since then, many troubleshooters have been active and many try and resolve. However, due to the crime rate increasing with the growth of the city, Valhalla is still the world's capital of crime. We don't get to see the troubleshooters in action? That's strange. But okay. Uh, enter. There we go. That's strange. I was expecting to see the firefly. The sorry, the fireflies. I saw a firefly park up here. I to see the troubleshooters in action here. It didn't happen. How weird. Uh, A and D doesn't work for the next tooltip though. Yeah, pressing the buttons, no go. Arrow keys. No previous next tool tip for me, for some reason. Where it doesn't work. I like the art style. The art style is really good. Kind of reminds me a little bit, a little bit of like Persona or, um, I think like what else it, I don't know. Six months before, all right. 
To work as a troubleshooter in Valhalla, you must obtain an official troubleshooter license. The final step in this process is you're completing three months of field training with the troubleshooter company. What's with the fuss down there? Ah, just the usual crap. Looks like they haven't spotted us yet, Mr. Gene. I've got eyes too, boy. I can see that. Oh, right. Of course. Sorry. Okay, so do we let him take on the task? Yeah, why not? There's only three guys there. What could possibly do it? What could possibly go wrong? Why don't you show this one on your own? I think you can handle it. Yes, sir. Leave it to me. Buddy, yes, man. Okay, so here goes Albus. The hell's he going? This troubleshooter, I mean, I've heard this troubleshooter, Albus. Everyone drop her up and surrender. The hell? When did he get all the way up here? Never mind that, just shoot him. Okay, so much for that. This is Gino Barwall. Reach for the sky. Ah, I thought it was leaving this to me. I know shit, right? Don't give up that easy. Okay, now the mission actually starts. Okay. Watch that. But we're still in the tutorial. Okay. Abilities with attack movement will tell all the units to move to location and attack in a single term that is current position. While most performing an attack with movement, you can never attack the enemy after dashing. Perform an attack with movement, which is our number one skill here. Do these say what they are, by the way? They do. Okay, great. We have attack with the movement here, the wind slash. And we move up here. Uh, so I, I right click and cancel. Let's try that again. Wow. Okay. SP gauge. This symbol indicates the currently available unit's SP type. Battling bonus will be granted depending on the SP type. SP gauge. Okay, which is currently zero, by the way. Show the current SP amount of the SP amount is at its maximum. Overcharge will be activated. SP will reset and overcharge is removed. As it's more specific information using the tooltip, we pop up with the mouse cursor removed over it. Okay, cool. Oh, so Albus is actually going to move here. Okay. Uh, so we can do whatever we want with him, apparently. I don't have any specific movement here. So we'd shoot from here. Which, if we do that, we have 100% to hit. I mean, why wouldn't you just do that? Why wouldn't you just do that? There you go. Damn fool. Oh man, there he goes again. I'm real tired of repeating myself, Albus. Tell the armor troubleshooter Albus crap. Don't waste any time, so do the, all the criminals immediately. But the troubleshooter regulations say, Albus, you're in the field. Sometimes the rule will get you in trouble. Keep in mind that this is a real deal. People get over here, grab and die. Understood, sir. Be sure to keep that in mind. Troubleshooter Company Arwal, renowned for their suppression tactics, assigned John Jean Lewis as their office's mentor. Officer Jane Optimi okay, Optimism. A lot of our boys got ruined by those guys. One for all those Arwal jerks, I would have kicked their asses. Albus! Okay then. It took way too long, boy. I mean, he was right there with you. He told me not to rush in last time. Field training with Gene involved a grueling daily routine of constantly patrolling the streets and taking down violent criminals. No time to waste, let's move on. Understand. Alva, store. On my way, sir. Ready to breach. Getting better, okay. Gain competence mastery, that's something. Going in once I get up there. Hey, I'm somewhere nice. Pardon? The enemy went that way. Where the hell were you going? I think he's gonna like it if I tell him the enemy went over the wall, so I was gonna take a detour. No, tell him the truth. Come on. Be honest. The enemy went over the wall, so I was going around. They're really just gonna wait for you to show up? Thought it might work, Mr. Gene. Back talking to me, boy. 
All right, fine. Do whatever you want. Just forget about becoming a troubleshooter. Patience. No, you're right, sir. My apologies. Won't happen again, sir. They need to work on his attitude. Someone needs to work on their attitudes. Not just the kid, though. Okay, patience mastery. Some of the boys are getting too involved in that religion crap. It's none of my business. Just tell me how much I'm getting paid. And there's our world troubleshooter here. Let's beat it, dude. I was completed his apprenticeship with Black Pearl to become a troubleshooter, but the pressure from Gene and the stress of the final test were slowly wearing Alba out. Mission after mission, with all this awful weather. The only thing that carried him through the hard field training was... How you doing, Aunt Lily? Aunt Lily, she's been supporting Albus since ever since the disaster left him in his own. Of course. Everyone in the company is really nice. You don't have to worry so much about me. Because he had been alone since that day, Lily's steady attention was a massive comfort to Albus. What is this, Peter Parker? Aunt May all over again? Hey, Aunt Lily. Hey, I'll be free this weekend. Would it be possible to meet up? Then she was also busy. She rarely find the time to meet with Albus in person. Okay, maybe not Aunt May then. Sorry, Albus. Her excuse was always the same. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to be sorry. Albus couldn't understand why his aunt wouldn't meet up with him. Regardless, she always gave Albus her full support. Albus wish he could properly meet up with her someday, so he can thank her for all her support. Wait, he's never met her. That's a big old red flag. We'll be able to see each other someday, Alvis. Let's hope we're proud of ourselves when that day comes. Alright, I did my best to see someone you can proud of. Alvis wanted to help others, just as Lily has helped him. Alvis, come on, boy. Double time. Yes, sir. Right behind you. Troubleshooter. This is my path from now on. Okay, gotta catch my breath. How is he out of shape? He's been running everywhere. You alright, Mr. Gene? Probably not. You better work harder this time. Think of it as another lesson than unexpected. Understood. Leave it to me. Alright, then I'll be supporting you from the back. What's the current situation? Number one of gang members have been identified nearby. Alright, as of now, Arwell will take over the case. Roger. Reinforcing Arwell. Move. Okay, another mission. Let's go. Checkpoint automatically updated depending on the progress of the mission. You continue from checkpoint if you fail or give up mission. Up to four checkpoints are saved since the latest update point. Returning to a checkpoint consumes 50 vigors of all characters engaged in battles. Through the item mastery experience you earned off the checkpoint are reset. Okay. All public officials provide backup forces to support the troubleshooters depending on the calamity level of the case. The backup forces can be controlled by the player during the mission. All the atoms and mastery required by them will be kept by the player. Okay, so we got a checkpoint. I feel like the... I feel like the uh, music volume might be a little too high. I'm going to drop that down a little bit. That's a little bit better. Also, probably don't need the voice work. Since there doesn't seem to be any voice work, let's drop that back down where it was. Oh, I didn't reset. Hold on. I gotta do that. Save and exit. That's what I want to do there. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so it looks like we have free reign to do whatever we want here. I don't see anybody... I'm trying to see if there's any good cover around here. Just half cover everywhere. No real full cover. Oh, no, there we go. Just full cover right up here. That's totally within range. All right, let's do that. Up here. Oh, yeah. Somebody right there. Confirm target. Doesn't actually see us, so I say we go on standby. We could go into, like, half cover and get closer. Um... No, he said he was going to support from the back. Let's let him support from the back. So, go on standby. Okay, all of us, on the other hand, can go full up front. Don't really love the half cover. Uh, we'll go over here. 
That was our full move. Okay, so here's our support guys. Uh, support guy can't make it all the way over there. We can do... I think, like, where we go here. You go here first. And then you can go, like, out in the open a little bit. But if they don't see us, it should be fine. Ah, shit. Okay, level 2 alertness. When a unit with this status, this, this status defects a foe. Moves the nearest and most effective cover, engaging in battle. Addition, the unit can send back requests of non battle allies within a line of sight. Allies that receive backup requests will always join the fight, when to contest the nearest foes. And also, under patrol status, their sight range marked with a red caution icon with the center of crucible trials. Well, shit. Okay, I don't think we set it off. I think we're fine. And there could be somebody over here we don't know about, so I'm gonna go up here and find out. Okay, don't see anybody. We might be alright. Can I get you... Let's get over here. Ah, oh, shit, there's somebody right there, too. Well, we just barely missed it, though, so we're okay. However, he's not in good cover here. Alright, so we definitely want to take that guy out if we can. I can move and go. He's gonna call for allies. We can just conceal. We don't do anything. What does this do? Healing potion, okay, and flash grenade, alright. Sliding kick. Well, you'd get him for sure. 3% chance to block. It does kind of put you out in the open, though. Not a big fan of that. And a bash, which is also... Yeah, not wild about that either. We could just hold off. Could just get closer and go and standby. We have a lot of markers everywhere as we're trying to stealth this out. I could, like, try to jump down here. Like, if we go over here, we stay out of his line of sight, and I might be able to get closer. Oh, I can't actually jump down. It's not actually a thing. Well, shoot. Okay, just conceal then. Just guard up. Okay, what are you gonna do, buddy? I wanna get closer to this guy. So I think you come up here. No real good spot for you. I guess you can go over this way, but that's gonna alert somebody. It's gonna alert these guys over here. That's gonna be very bad. I can go all the way back around. Uh, that means we... Yeah, we have a bad spot right here. I mean, really, this is probably our best spot. So maybe we go and attack. Uh, we do Fresh Breeze. What does that do? Wow. What is Fresh Breeze? I don't know what Fresh Breeze is. There we go. Creates a whirlpool at the targeted area. Deals 125 plus 22 damage. Okay, and also clears some status effects, which is kind of cool. Can't do gentle gust. For whatever reason. And of course, this is our melee attack. So maybe like this, do some fresh breeze and knock somebody out. They're a little too far for it right now. Also, the big guy would not be taken out by it. I think we go on standby. I want to get this guy in a better position. He's in a bad spot right now. Can I take you all the way back over here? I would love to put you up here, but you're going to go through some bad spots right there. So come over here first. Okay, a saber adjacent unit is devoid of cover. It's called the exposed state, and a flank attack bonus will give him an attack on target. Okay, yeah, I know that. Okay, then we got this guy. And I guess you come over here. No, that's gonna alert somebody. That's gonna alert somebody. Well, shoot. 
When I wanted to get behind the tree, but that's not really an option. If we go in here, I guess you do kind of get a bonus, but it's not going to be that great. I mean, coming up here would be great, but that's going to alert everybody. We've got to do it at some point. I just don't think we're ready yet. I think you back up here. You back up here and you take a shot, maybe? No, there we go. Go on Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Okay, so now... I mean, theoretically, don't know where these guys are, but we do kind of know where they are, right? So... We know they're going to go at an attack. I loop back around this way. I guess I'm done. And then come over here. This is your last day today, boy. Okay, so these guys are still active. This guy's in Overwatch, so if we actually go and attack and they move, we should be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's attack. Um, can I just shoot somebody here? Ooh, bad choices. 85 is not great. 80 is worse. All right. Fuck it. Might as well do it. He dodged it. God damn it. Well, now he's away. Now he's alert. Oh, but good crits on the Overwatch. Nice. When the enemy out of action gives you one trait to the enemy you possess by a certain chance. You can apply a trait to the character. You can learn to acquire a trait through Master Board after you complete the mission. Okay. I really just tell us you got a tactical and development trait. Great. Enemy's location has been updated. Okay, update enemy location. Conspiracy. Okay, so now we know there's guys over here. I and mean, we knew that already, but... Oh, there's also some guys over here. We did not know about these guys. Okay. We get intel. Got it. Come up here. These guys don't see us. If I shoot you guys... 75 is pretty bad. I can't shoot the other guy. I think instead we'll just go on Overwatch and let the Troubleshooter take the brunt. Okay, this guy's ready to go. I think we also put him on Overwatch in case the guy moves. Okay, big guy. One at a time, please. Okay, can you actually go up and bash this guy? You can totally do it. Block 8%. If I do 3 instead, block is also 8%. 54% chance to crit. Yeah, okay. I mean, either one of these is fine, probably. Powerful tackle to deal blood damage on the target. Yeah, let's go with this one. What the hell? Kaboom! Nice! Using the ability with the cast delay, the action time of the unit increases. Take the information about the cast delay, the ability, the tooltip, and the number we shot in the action queue, and the right we're choosing the ability. Okay. Alright, so now we gotta pop these guys. How are we gonna do this? I mean, I could just go in and attack, but there's a second guy there, right? Then we do instead is we come over on this side. I guess I'm done. Oh, that was an alert. That was an alert. Well, got the Overwatch off, which is nice. Let's see. I don't think you can see anybody else right now. He can't. Uh, we can move around a little bit. Let's see. I could go up here. Uh, it's not a great move. This will give me some minor protection. Maybe even give me a flank. They didn't have time to sit up and overwatch themselves, so we should be fine here. This guy's expendable, right? Yeah, sure, why not? So, come up here. See if we can finish the big guy off. Because now, now he's vulnerable. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead and finish him off. Nice. Okay. You're good. There's some guys over here. That we know about, so come up all the way to the good cover, I guess. Okay, he's ready to go. We go ahead and do like the melee attack. 
That should probably take him out. Nice. Okay, cool. Got more tactical development mastery. Okay, so he's kind of in a bad spot. We know some existing guys over here. There they, there they are. See him now. Uh, they don't actually know we're here yet, though, so let's be as cautious as possible. We definitely need to be up on this level, so let's just go to the half cover here. I think I want to stand by because I want to get that guy with some Overwatch before we jump in, so yeah, just do standby. Oh, it's his turn immediately. Okay, great. So much for Overwatch. Uh, can I do standby again? There you go. Okay, so you're ready to go. We know these guys are also ready to go. So come in behind this cover. And your job is to go in Overwatch. In with you. You've got to make it all the way over here. Uh, there's no real cover over this way. I guess you can be here. That'll work. Okay, then he launches the attack. What is this? Number six. A bigger restoration. Okay, we don't care. All right, well, we've already done the tackle, right? That was this one. Now we can do this one, the bash. Take out one of these guys. Let's go for it. 77%. So not nearly as good. Wow, really bad for him. Yeah, not loving either of these options. I could just surprise them and let the Overwatch take it, I guess. Don't love it. One of them is probably going to go downstairs. I don't love any of my options here at all. I can come up here. Don't know if that's gonna help, but it doesn't it doesn't set off any alarm, so we can do it. And we still get our attack off. Let's see if this works. It's actually worse. That's actually worse. How is that worse? I can only hit this guy now. Fuck it, do it anyway. Do it anyway. Go for it. Now he sees me. We still get the attack off. Oh, and there goes the Overwatch shot. Nice. Okay, so that was actually worked out. Okay, so you get the attack off when you do surprise them. Because you get to move before they get to react. So that's good to know. All day of work experience. Take a step. Ah, this is tiring. I want to thank you for everything, Mr. Gene. Hey, you did a great job following me for the last three months. You had the chance to see me, Troubleshooter Gene, in action. I'm sure it has been and will be a big help for you. It certainly was. Also, I'll remember it. Oh, I'm sure you've had your complaints since it's our last night of training. Feel free to let them out. Uh, really? Hmm. I shouldn't have anything to complain about. This could be disappointing. Perhaps I spoiled him too much. I should disqualify him. Thank you, Mr. Gene. I'll never forget what you taught me. You... This one will make a fine troubleshooter. Three months in past, and Albus finally completed his field training successfully with Arwal. Aunt Lily, I'm now officially a troubleshooter. Congratulations, Albus. I'm very proud of you. Actually, the first time we've heard her, we've heard her voice. Week after field training, hidden intention. Granting access to troubleshooter Albus Bernstein. Finally here. Let me see. Ten years ago. It should be here somewhere. Access denied. Mithril level authorization required to open selected case. But why? All the information that Albus wanted access was still confidential. Ever since he was a kid, he had longed to find out more about the disaster that occurred a decade ago. All this time, he believed that becoming a troubleshooter would give him the answers he sought. Now it seems to have been in vain. Security level Mithril. That's so high. That leaves me no choice. Changing Albus's Bernstein status to accepting requests. 
Okay, got the mission. Done. Easy, simple. We got leather boots out of that for whatever good that does us. Oh, here we go. We can choose our company name. We'll represent your team while playing Troubleshooter. It'll also be your nickname while playing online, which we don't necessarily care about. Future changes to the company names won't be free to choose, so carefully. Okay, so... Company name is 2 to 20 characters. Well, you know what? That's actually 16 characters. Nobody else has it, so great. Let your company mastery. Chosen mastery will be shared between all active company members. Please note that the choice is not permanent. You might replace it in the future. Hey, Bum Tublet. Good to see you. Uh, customer set. Just kind of hover over these. Oh, no. Okay, we can see exactly what they're for. Okay, great. We're satisfied with requests from clients. Clients are satisfied with the outcome. May provide additional rewards. Bill by 50% when you complete the mission. All right. Expertise. There's a chance of acquiring masteries, which could be good for us. Individualism. Can we team members concentrate on their training? Oh, experience gain is probably not a terrible idea. Scavenger. Increase the chance of an item gained by 25%. Okay. Sense of belonging. Try to increase it for those who can join the company. The higher the pride, the more likely you are to alleviate their fatigue. Decreases the consumed motivation need for taking mission by 70%. Kind of seems like either individualism or sense of belonging might be a good choice here. I mean, increasing rewards is nice too. Well, so... Here we'll be able to take more missions, it looks like. Here we'll be able to get more experience from those missions. So chances are, it's like, um, probably like an XCOM, where you can't just keep on throwing in your A-team every time. You have to have a backup team in order to let the A-team, like, rest up and recuperate. That's probably what Sense of Belonging is, is uh, kind of alluding to here. Having a B-team is probably not a terrible idea, so maybe instead we go for just higher experience. I mean, items are cool, too. Also, not having to worry about money, because it's kind of what this indicates. Might be good as well. I'm going to roll the dice. There's five options here. I have a six-sided die here in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and roll it. Let chance just take us here. If it rolls a six, that means we roll again. Here we go. It is rolled a three. So three is individualism. Which is great because that's 25% more experience. Let's just do that. Okay. Please select a basic mastery. Select mastery will be the basic mastery provided to those who are active with your company. The selected basic mastery can be replaced with other required masteries in the future. We can do wind sword. Reach your slashing attack damage by 10%. Responsibility. Reduces your action time by 20 and increases your recipe by 5. But target dodges or blocks your attack. Hmm. I'm mean, rather just hit, but I get it. Opportunist is dodging or blocking attack grants you chance to win. Mental buff increases your speed. Hit chance by a very low amount, though. 1% is not a whole terrible lot. It's actually up to 10 level maximum, so it does just keep on buffing up. So if you, like, miss on purpose, like, 10 times in a row, you can get better at this, maybe? I think maybe just doing more damage might be good here. We can always change this. It says you can replace this later. Let's do this. Wind Sword. Pressure off the screen, and oh, wow, that's sad. Hopefully that's not his actual studio flat. In the middle of the crater. I was returned home after his three months of field training. 
Oh my, what a mess. Aunt Lily would be really upset if she knew what kind of mess I live in. Aunt Lily provided all of us a studio ten years ago. It's time to say goodbye to this place. I'm really grateful, Aunt Lily. Now that you've obtained the official troubleshooter license, Albus decided you would no longer depend on Aunt Lily. She told Albus that she was fine with the current arrangement, that she didn't mind supporting him, but Albus felt he should be independent. I should continue packing up. Okay. Um, cupboard? Albus wasn't as much of a cook, so the cupboard functioned more as his personal storage. He found a bunch of miscellaneous items as soon as he opened the cupboard. I start packing one by one. This one first. HP potion? Well, it's been here all along. I also found a box with a brand new pair of shoes in the cupboard. It was a gift from Black Pearl that he received after completing his apprenticeship as a troubleshooter. Hope they're doing well in Black Pearl. Alba started enlisting all the items as he began to pack them. It was a habit he had developed naturally because he didn't want to waste money out on the set up. Almost forgot, she checked the storage too. Mr. Jean provided Alba some extra items for our wall after his field training. Flash grenade, okay. She makes moves consumables instead of buying them. That'll help him save him some money. And lastly, Alba stuffed the training manuals in the box. What else should I pack? Okay, we got a new costume. Inventory menu. Can I just press I? Hey, what do you know? Inventory. Okay. Can I just wear these, or how does that work? Nope, right-click just closed it. Okay, apparently just uh, pressing I doesn't work for me, so we're just going to move on. Bookshelf. Albus, always forever about becoming a troubleshooter, had been studying the ways to respond to dangerous situations ever since he was a kid. The swordmanship training manuals, crease spine, and worn edges showed how often it had been read. I should pack them too. I hate packing books, man. It's always the the book boxes are always so freaking heavy. One of the manuals he didn't have a chance to finish caught his eye. Albus started reading it, distracted from his current task for a while. Oh, that happens. You pick up a book and go, "Oh yeah, I've been meaning to read this," and then you know three hours later and you haven't done any packing. Physical training is, of course, rudimentary. How to get the most out of my strength. Swordmanship, melee combat. If I want to turn the tables, I have to react faster than the enemy. Boy, he's um, putting quite a lot of time into reading his book instead of packing. Will I ever be as strong as them? Master them all, I have the time. Oh my, time flew by. She continued packing up. Okay, well, we got a cool bunch of stuff here. Mastery menu, uh, let me guess, M? It was not M. Down here, it's T. T for mastery. Nope, I can't even make that make sense in my head. All right, well, we found some stuff. Things. Okay, cool. Table. On the table, Albus found a day planner, still in this plastic wrap. I, I can totally relate to that. You know, you buy a day planner thinking, I'm totally going to organize my life, and then you never actually, you know, organize your life. Ah, this. It was a high school graduation gift from Aunt Lily, which apparently he never opened. I'm going to put this to good use. Oh, yeah, I should go see the, di the guy Dr. Mr. Gene talked about. Albus dug in his pocket and withdrew a business card. Mr. Roberto. Hope he's nothing like Mr. Gene. I should continue backing up. Okay, so we got a new mission for that. Got it. Oh, well, at least everything's all nice. Where'd the big giant bookcase go? Tell me that actually went into one of the boxes. That's absurd. This one goes here and this here. Oh, a digital panel fell out of Abbas's pocket. Jeez. The panel was his official troubleshooter license. Official troubleshooter licenses are updated regularly with information about the current company. I should make sure I don't lose it. I should continue backing up. Alright, company menus. Now we have files. As he was organizing these files, Albus realized he had forgotten something. Right, I forgot to register the company in the troubleshooter directory. I should do it now. VHPD mandates that all troubleshooter companies enlist and manage their troubleshooters digitally. 
This serves to create a network to serve for smooth case solving to identify people in charge of the case. Company with just one member. The future doesn't seem too bright. Oh wow, this is just the beginning. Can't you just join an existing company? Why do you need to start your own, Albus? Come on. Roster menu activated. Albus knows I'm normal packing this stuff. Pretty sure I can foster great synergy if I use it properly. The roster menu in the bottom right corner. Ah, okay, sure. Roster. R. See, R for roster. That makes sense. You can manage all the list of troubleshooters in the roster menu. Learn Albus from the list of troubleshooters for character information. Okay, sure. I should always carry useful equipment, so it's hard to predict what might happen in the field. But you got a shit ton of stats here that I am not going to be able to figure out easily, but okay. And the character information window, you can find detailed information about characters and equip and unequip, you know, unequip them. I can talk today. With items such as weapons and potions. With the HP potion flash grenade in the top pocket and bottom pockets. Top pocket and bottom pockets. Ah, up here. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Alright, HP potion. Flash grenade. She likes lots of numbers, right? Yeah, right? There's a shit ton of numbers. I mean, out of what? Like, slash resistance 34 out of 100? Out of 50? Out of 275,244? I mean, who knows? Unequip the item by clicking on the item using the right mouse button. Okay. Maybe I should just finish training using the menu I saw a while ago. The mastery board menu and the character information window to activate or deactivate masteries. Okay, so click on the mastery button, mastery board button, right there. I focus on one style or keep a balance. This is the mastery board. The mastery board displays both the active and available masteries of a character. The mastery board is divided into five categories basic, support, attack, defense, ability. Number of slots is difficult for every character, and the slots automatically has the character defense levels. My battle style and consideration. You freely choose masters by choosing training points obtained by the character. We have zero, though. The masters are restricted to certain races, jobs, genders, and characters. The call the masters combo attack requires a combination of various training. Hidden mastery sets may be enabled when certain combinations of masteries are activated. Should have known these earlier. Activate the masters the mastery list for Albus. I have zero training points, but I can do this stuff over here. Okay. I right, see, so I can equip it. Oh, and that'll probably teach us. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a training point. That boosts our competence up. I want to do... Okay, well, if I have the training manuals, uh, counterattack sounds great. Restallment is also pretty good. And just an enemy uses an attack ability or approach within one tile of you. You will responsibly attack the enemy using your attack. Sounds great. Let's do that. Oh, I know we can't counterattack. That's okay. We knew fair wind. That's all right. Okay. Oh, there's actually... No, no. There's just... It says previous and next, but there's an actually previous next. Okay. Uh, available only? Nothing. Can't do anything else. All right. Well, that was fun. Return. I want to compare each number one of them, but I like the field experience. We can remove active masteries at the cost of training manuals. I want to make use of different masteries, there might be a way. You have a chance to acquire additional masteries when defeating enemies during missions. Not a bad idea to experiment. I can always change it around as I get stronger. Oh my, time flew by. Should wrap this up. Turn to the packing menu. Okay. Turn. Turn. I'm pretty much done packing my stuff. I was noticed a blinking icon on the Instagram of his laptop. It was a new email notification. This is the alarm that kept ringing. Uh, new email. There we go. West. Same idea. Oh, no, that's outside helper. That's not the same idea at all. Sorry, email button right there. Email for Aunt Lily. Almost normally used email to contact Aunt Lily, only occasionally calling her by phone. Hope she's not upset. On the day he became an official troubleshooter, Albus sent Aunt Lily an email to share his thoughts and future plans. Albus opened the email and started reading it carefully. 
Okay, check the email. Okay, there we go. Mail menu. Items can be attached to your emails. Please check them carefully and collect any items that are attached to the emails. Um, if it's like a health potion, how does that work? From Lily Lover. All right. Receive the pictures you sent me. I can't believe you're growing so big now. Congratulations on becoming the troubleshooter you wanted to be. It's very worried when you told me you wanted to become a troubleshooter ever since you were a little kid. But looking at you now, I guess the worry was all unnecessary. I read your mail on how you wanted to be financially independent. I feel sorry for you being burdened up for my support. It was really not too troublesome. But I sincerely want you to live the life you've yearned for. Feel free to let me know if you need help. Actually, let's get in touch often. You're always welcome to contact me. And lastly, I attach some money to congratulate you your success. I think this is the last time really saddens me. Sorry I could not meet you in person, even in the last moment. Okay, so she uh, attached Vil. I guess Vil is the uh, currency. Right? Residence application results. Greetings, this is Javier, Deputy Officer of the 13th District of Baja. In relation to the residence trial for application of Alvis Bernstein, Leader of Peace in the Universe, under Baja Residential Law, Article 4, Clause 1, I would like to let you know this transfer has been accepted. Leader of the Troubleshooter Company may relocate to the area of the transferring company without residential restrictions. Great. Please be aware the permit will be invalid if the company is not officially active within three months of the application. Hope to do your best for the future at this new place. Great. Firm. Greetings, this is Carl Lane, Mayor of Valhalla. I'd like to congratulate you, Albus Bernstein, on behalf of the Valhalla people. We're doing our best to keep the peace and safety of the Republic. We are actively growing and supporting the activities of elite troubleshooters. We hope Valhalla will be with you in your journey. Keep Valhalla safe as a troubleshooter. Great, thank you. Greetings, Princess Albus Bernstein. My name is Nadia Lewis, leader of Arwal. I would like to congratulate you on your completion of three month field practice. Jean Lewis, our official, has evaluated you and sent the reports to Valhalla Police. We hope that you hear positive results, and we thank you for again for working with our wall for your field practice. The included payment is your reward for the past three months of work. 600 bill for three months of work. Either Lily is really generous, or these guys are Chiefs Yates. Guess that's all. Time to go. Okay, confirm there. Drop the mail. And we're gonna go. Thank you, Aunt Lily. I should say goodbye to my neighbors and landlord. I mean, really? Because I wouldn't, but I guess that's just me. I was heading to the Windwall District after finishing his work in the studio. I suppose that depends on how close you are to your neighbors, right? I guess I kind of sort of know my neighbors. And of course, saying goodbye to the landlord, you know, so they, they, they know you're forwarding your address for anything they need to know, like afterwards, I suppose is fair. Windwall District was almost lived 10 years ago before he was orphaned by the disaster. wonder how much the place has changed. Well, before we go and see how the place has changed, I think this has been does for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. This has been Troubleshooter. I'm Peace Universe, your Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.